It is a story that could be right out of Hollywood. Fights over money and land divide an eastern Washington family amidst allegations of murder, betrayal, and forbidden love. King 5 investigator Linda Byron reports on a case that stretches from Soap Lake to Seattle and all the way to Belize. Soap Lake is known for its mineral-rich waters and pastoral lifestyle. We both loved the lake. I learned to swim there and he learned to swim there. It's here that Tracy Nestle says she fell in love with Tim McNamara. It was like we were soulmates. A hardworking farmer who loved his family and his apple fields. It was just um, magical. Tracy says she didn't care that Tim, or as she called him Mac, was 22 years her senior. He taught me how to fly fish, and I caught more fish than we could ever eat. And we're on the rock. We're at Bridge Creek on the rock. August of 2012. He's cooking bacon, <laughs> potatoes. Camp breakfast. Oh, that's what he lived off of. Tracy also didn't care that Tim was her father's brother her biological uncle. People would say, but that's incest, that's wrong. I didn't know him as an uncle. I didn't know the McNamara's very much. Um, he was a man I fell in love with. He was a man that our souls connected. Tim's two adult children were skeptical. It was hard to know what to do. Definitely a shock factor. Well, because of the nature of our relationship, uh, we were sort of an outcast of this little teeny tiny town where everybody talks. Believing family and friends would never accept their romantic relationship, Tim and Tracy left Soap Lake and moved to Belize to start a new life together. Be at peace and love each other. He leased out his Soap Lake farm and bought a new one in Belize, where he and Tracy began building a bed and breakfast. And I just felt like a princess. And they got married. I was barefoot, Matt had flip flops on, and it's beautiful. A Belizean style wedding. Tracy says Tim insisted on it. It was important for both of us that we were one. But their new life couldn't erase their past. Tim and his kids stopped communicating. Tracy's teenage daughter was ordered to stay away from her new husband, and they were running out of money. Emails show at one point Tim's son suggested selling the Soap Lake farm, but Tim refused. In fact, He'd quit claimed the property to Tracy shortly after their romance began. He loved his children immensely, but there was a fear that if he was to pass, it would be sold right away, and then his legacy would be gone. Their second Christmas in Belize, Tim and Tracy were about to open their B&B, &B, when something happened that would destroy that dream forever. That night, as I was doing dishes, the dogs were barking, and uh, Mac just went out the back door and then a fire was shot, but I didn't think anything of it. Tracy says Tim would sometimes fire shots to scare off jaguars and mountain lions. And when he didn't come back in, um, I, I went outside and he was laying on the deck. Tim had a bullet wound to the head. Tracy says she drove to a neighbor for help, but it was hours before police and medics arrived. He was on his side, and um, I was just spooning with him with a blanket over both of us to keep him warm. Early news reports called it suicide. But as rumors swirled that Tracy had killed her husband, she returned to Soap Lake to live on the McNamara farm she now owns. Your apple should be nice and round and healthy. Weeks later, the forensic analyst for Belize Police concluded that Tim did not fire the fatal shot. Four months later, Belize issued a warrant for Tracy's arrest for murder. Did you pull the trigger? No, we loved each other. The evidence is all there. It's all there. Last fall, Jennifer Ralston and Caleb McNamara filed a civil murder lawsuit against their cousin, alleging she seduced, manipulated, and deceived their dad for the purpose of financial gain. She appeared to have some kind of an agenda. Karen Kohler is their attorney. I think that they argued, and she took her Glock, which she had just bought a couple months before, and shot him in the back of the head. That's what I think happened. There's no question, actually, that Tim McNamara turned his, took his own life. I don't think there's any question about that. Um, all the forensic evidence points to that. 
And I think all the psychiatric evidence and all the medical evidence would point to that. Leading up to his death, Tim had been exchanging sentimental emails with his kids, reminiscing about the farm and family. His final words, hours before he died, I sure have loved being your dad. But what about the position of the fatal shot? You don't shoot yourself in the back of the head. It's borderline impossible. 40% of suicides are done here, uh, here or here, here, but here is very common. And if I did that, I turned my head this way and pulled the trigger, the trajectory of it would be exactly like this if his head was turned to the left. While the lawyers argue over evidence, the question looms. Will Belize request extradition for Tracy to stand trial? I hope, and I also believe that they will not. Um, the, the evidence is clearly corrupted. And once again, there's no motive. Tracy's life is so much more difficult now than if Tim was alive. Tracy says she's struggling with the 100-acre farm. I have a promise to fulfill to Mac. What's that? It's to keep it running, to keep it going, to not ever sell it. That farm life is not her life, in my opinion. She's stolen that life. Red Delicious. What would justice be? Justice would be her in jail in Belize. There are a lot more twists to this story. Tracy told me the lead police officer investigating Tim's death tried to bribe her, telling her Tim owed him money. And when she refused, the officer told her things would not be going well for her. Now, I did talk to that officer over the phone in Belize, and he denied that conversation ever took place. But there are also contradictions in the Belize forensics report. For example, at one point, the analyst says the bullet entered on the left side of Tim's head and exited on the right. Later in the same report, says so just the opposite. It's such a bizarre story. It is. Was the marriage even legal? So, no. It turns out it wasn't. Um, it would have been illegal in Washington state. And I called Belize police to also ask about that. Right. They said that Tracy and Tim apparently believed it was legal there, but the marriage is void because of their biological mm. relationship. I know you're not saying goodbye until tomorrow, but we are going to miss your reports. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Crazy. Yeah. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda.